Welcome to Tony's Board Life. Um, I am playing my first game, my one of my my ten that I plan on playing for 2023. This is game number one, which is Zulus on the Ramparts. This is the um, Victory Point Games Edition. Uh, from what I've heard, they are remaking it. I think it's Worthington Publishing with their old school gaming or whatever uh, title publish part of publisher that is. Uh, they're planning on doing a remake of this. I really do enjoy this game. I've played quite a bit, um, just getting prepared for it and you know, just playing it over and over again. I have not done very well at all, but those that know me know that's no surprise. <laughs> um, these games typically do not go well for me, but let's go ahead and get things set up. Uh, I got a deck of cards here. Uh, it tells you to pull the top five out. So I have uh, one, two, three, four, five. These three are your starting hand. I'm just gonna move them to the side over here. When I play them in the tableau, they're gonna go right here. Now one and two, one, you survive. So this is the end game. How do we get to the end game on that pace? We take three cards. Uh, so we'll shuffle, we'll cut that and go one, two, three. Then this one is gonna go in here into these top cards here. Okay, so that's my deck. I don't know exactly where it goes. Then we're gonna take these two cards. We're gonna split them roughly in half. Roughly, I think, yeah, there's about half. We're gonna take, those go on top of there. This card goes on top of here, and then, this card goes on. Now, I'm not going to say I know the rules 100%. And generally, I do when I was playing. Kind of came across it uh, without too much of a problem. Uh, the sequence of play is on the back here. It's not that hard. It's actually pretty... Uh, the mechanics are pretty simple. The card play is, is not always the easiest. Uh, that's where the game comes in. That's where it gets kind of tricky. I've got a few things here I'm setting up. Uh, this could be a really short video, or it could be a long video, but I plan on playing until I am dead or alive. Now, uh, the other part of the setup is you take the Ibutho, the Butho, Butho, I think is how they're pronounced, and you randomly put them on here. They have stacks underneath. These are the hit counters. This one only has one and then two steps, and then it would be eliminated. This one here has one, two, three... I think just three. Yep. Just three. This is a larger one with four or five steps. And then this one only has three. Yep. Four step. So this is the one that has the most. From what I've gathered, um, get rid of the one that actually uh, has the most or the fewest is the best way to go because then you don't have to focus on that one. Now, as usual, states of siege, this is the center. If they reach it in here and your Zulu victories in there, that's you lose. You can build the bar barricades twice and move this in one. If you build it a second time, you build, it goes back to here. It makes it a little bit harder to get in and you know, things like that. The rest we're going to kind of go through. You can set the buildings can be set on fire. There's a whole bunch of different things, but I want to go ahead and get started and go from there. There's plenty of videos out there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I do is this is like the vent card that you would pull. So in this case, we pull this. This is a this is a an advanced chit. And basically you look for, so this is the left horn, which is up here. And the two means it moves twice. Now you put this one back. There are event chits in there, so this goes one, two. There we go. Now I have a I have a um, play, card play, action, 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this one. So this one is now in play. I can return it to my hand to perform one more action, which I just don't have any real actions to do right now. Or I can discard it to get additional two actions this turn. Or I can discard it for the bottom. Uh, you, you know, I can discard it and then fire at somebody. But this is in play with that one. I do a card draw, which is another good one. This is another one. So with this, so while available, before the Zulu Ibutu advances into an unburning hospital, hospital right there, roll a one, two, three, or four. It advances on a five or six. So hook, if I play this one, which there's a good chance I might, I put this little standee out, and on the bottom, five or six has to go through there. But that's a good one. Card draw is done. Now I do a hero phase. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and put him in there. And then we'll take hook and put hook on the hospital. Because you can do hero phase, housekeeping. I don't have anything to worry about. Are the Zulu's defeated. Nope, I don't have more than five cards. Hey, we're good to go. On to turn two. Pull the chit. Oop. We're going to pull this chit. This one came out. Now, this chit, this is for washing of spears is what it is. I mean, I have to look real quick here uh, for the washing of spears. They have them all. This washing of spears. Look at the lowest numbered box occupied by an Ibutu. Retreat every Ibutu on the same number box by one. So the lowest number is three. And all of them are past that. Uh, when this occurs in box minus one, it might cause additional Bluetooth unit to retreat if there's a traffic jam at zero, blah, blah, blah. When Zaizu Bluetooth made a kill, they're stopped. Discard this marker after implementing. So this one goes here. So that's basically nothing happened. That would have been a good one if you had people moved in. Now, what am I going to do? I have this guy for long range. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this guy here. We are going to play this one because I can roll three dice. Now, to hit, as you can see here, uh, five is a retreat to push him back. Six is a hit. I'm hoping for a six. Bonus, after firing this volley during the action phase, you may perform one addition non-volley action. There's a couple things I can do, which I'm going to do. Now, take this one. This one gets discarded, so I'm going to put it out of the way here. Or I think I'll put it down here. This will be good. No, we'll put it right here. This card. So I get three die. I'm using the die that came with it. If uh, and I roll them. Two, three, and four. Nothing. Oh, well, that was a waste. I do get an extra one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take private hook. Uh, or now we're going to put. We're going to build a barricade, so one-third barricade built. And so that was that extra one by playing that card. I get a card draw, which is another volley. Put it over here. I can put another hero out, so I'm going to do that. And there we go. Back to the... P draw. Let's see here. I think I'm trying to figure out a good spot to put these because you can keep an eye on them. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's pull one out. Here we go. Oh, everything moves two. That is not good. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. Now, obviously, I want to get rid of that guy. He is in, now if you notice, there's close range, medium, long range. Um, we are close range with a one. I'm going to play this one. Three dice, and I'm going after that one. Oh, Ooh, good. I got a six and a four. That doesn't matter, so a six. We're going to go ahead and take the hit off of this one. Yeah. And that's that. Okay. I can't do anything else because that was the one thing. 
I don't like that at all because if he moves again, I'm in trouble. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to discard a cup two additional actions at this time. Or... Mm -hmm. Actually, this one actually will save me. Uh, to halt the advance of any one, I boothill as it attempts to enter a box with a value of one or zero. That's this one. So if he does go, I'm going to be able to do that because I don't really want to. So I can return this one at the start of this phase with three or fewer cards. Draw an additional one. I think I'm going to take this one, put it in. Uh oh, I can do that anytime. That's a free. Put it in my hand. So I'll get to draw two cards, which is now one French Corporal Christian Ferdinand Schneich, which is a hero. Okay. And my second one is Fire Independent Fire at Will, which is only twos. Okay. Hero face put out. I'm going to go ahead and put this one out. And this one will be on the north wall. Is that, the north? that is the north wall. I can't put that out yet. <laughs> That's not a good reason for me to put out. So I'll put this one back out. And back to the hero face. Okay. Now everything advances one. Now with that, I am going to discard this one to keep him from advancing. But all the rest of them will advance one. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this one. We're going to go after that. Buto, it's two dice. I got a five and a four. And the five is perfect because it can go there. Okay. That was my action. Do a card draw. Oh, long range, which is really nice. And I can put forth a hero, which is going to be this guy now. And what's nice now is he's going to protect that one. And all good to go there. And we're back at it. Here we go. Uh, the R. Oh, I forgot. I know I can't shoot anything, but I think I can. I think I retreat. Uh, regroup and retreat. I have to look at that one real quick again. With luckily, there should be right here. Okay, first regroup each eyeball tooth unit on the map in a three, four, five box that has lost any hits recovers one. Nope. Uh, three, four, five. He's lost one, but he's only in a two. That's good. I booth you that have been routed. Nope. Retreat I booth each I booth unit on the map in a two or lower box is retreated back to the next consecutive outcome. Well, two or lower, they're all two or lower, which is nice. That actually was a good one. Now I can't do much on this one other than I'll probably build it. Okay. Yeah, each Ibutho unit on the map in a number two or lower box is retreated back to the next consecutive one. And then finally, this turn, you cannot fire volleys. The Zulus have gone to ground, laying low in the grass. But that did help me <laughs> quite a bit, which is really good. Um, can't fire any volleys. I am going to use this guy to build a barricade. Uh, so two thirds of the barricades built. We're good to go. Card draw. Oh, nice. You cannot fire this. Oh, I forgot the minus one on that one. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, I kind of missed it. I missed that I had this was a minus one. So this five would have been a four. So he would have been on one. Okay, so yeah, so the hero phase. So now we're okay. Um, this guy should have stayed at one uh, with that one. And, well, actually, no. Okay, we're going to fix this real quick. Um, we'll do that. Oh, because right now, because I lost one, it would have been a minus one, so it would have been only retreat instead. I forgot about that. we got to get rid of that. Next turn. 
Um, you know, next turn. Okay. I could, wouldn't have had to discard that card. Oh, well, we'll just leave it. I'm, I'm okay with that. We'll put him back up his head. Because he could have retreated into there. Yeah. Okay, we're good. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. Uh, okay, now let's see here. We'll put these in order so I remember how they came. Okay, uh, no, don't need the dice. Need this one. Here we go. Now I got to remember the low amateur. Okay, so the, this horn goes to. Oh, no, that's loins. This one goes to. So it goes one, two. Now, what to do, what to do? He's close. But this one is right here. Dang it. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do here. I think I got to tank this back into my hand so I can get rid of this. I'm going to discard slice. They conduct one volley using another card during the MP phase, my MPI, uh, before the Ibututh phase. Oh, wait. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. So he... I could do this so when I pull the chit... Yep, I pull the chit, I'll know if I need to do that, uh, to do this discard or not. Okay, that's good. I like that. Uh, so I need to draw a card, another volley. Now, I pulled this off, but I can put the hero back into available, which is kind of nice. I'll put this up here so I don't forget. Because I just he distributed water and stuff. All right. Now, back to the MP phase. Here we go. One, which is the loins. Okay, I'm not going to have to do that yet, which is nice. I might be able, I should be able to fire. Loins, that's this guy. He's going to go to two. That's nice. Now, I am going to volley fire with five dice on this guy here. And I have to place this back here. That's one downside of it. That's why you couldn't do it without. So here we go. I got... One six, that was before that goes in there. Um, a two and a four. So one six, I got to roll one more die. Oh, good. Five. What happens is he loses one, and he has to go back one. I uh, wish I would have done a little bit more than that, but it is what it is. And that's So that was the volley phase. I don't want to disconnect, disconnect. Okay. Okay. Card draw. Ooh. Windage. Return. Declare a plus one. Die roll model to a single non die roll before trolled. Okay. So he goes there. Card. I can put him into play now. Oh, going to run out of room putting people into play. He is now available. And housekeeping. I don't have to worry about that. And back to this here. By the way, this I think this is the longest I've gone. Oh, uh, let's see here. Overheated rifles. Overheated rifles. Draw another MP chit. If it's an advanced marker, implement it normally during the Ibutha phase. If it is not, return the marker to the MP chit without effect. Regardless, during the action phase, your this turn. Your okay. I'll return it back to the after implementing it. Okay. Okay. So we pull one more. Uh, oh, okay. If it is advanced marker, implement it normally during the Ibuthras. If not, return it the marker back to the chip. And then this guy goes back in here. So nothing happened. 
I do have a minus one right now uh, because of the overheating rifles. I'm kind of okay with that because what I'm going to do is spend an action to build this one. This guy becomes available again and this moves back. That's my one action, which is awesome. So back to the card, uh, card draw, right? Card draw. So did my action. Oh, another leader. So I'll put him in my hand and I can add him now to, to my available. Skip the discard step. Oh, I can have up to seven cards. Unlimited hand size, excuse me. Evidently, well, I wish I had more cards to, <laughs> to have. Anyways, okay. Now back to this one group right here. Okay, well, we're going to figure out what that is. It's the first time I've had that one. It is Zulu, Zulu Snipers. Interesting. Zulu Snipers. Okay, draw another MP chit if it's an advance marker. Stop drawing. If it's not, return it to the cup and draw again until you draw an advance marker, and then implement it during the iBooth of phase. If there's no advance marker in the cup, advance all booths by one. Well, there are advanced cuppers. During the action phase's turn, your volleys have a minus one die roll modifier. Okay, return this marker to the MP chip after it's been implemented. So basically, I keep rolling, or keep rolling. Oh, I do have an advance. Okay. And this is going to be the chest. We implement that one. He's going to go there. I've got a little back up there that could slow things down, which is awesome. Now, I really don't want to do um, any volleys right now. Uh, let's see here. Because I get a minus one on that. Do I want to try to build? I think I do. Except for this time, I'm going to take Sergeant here. He's going to go ahead. He's going to build a third of the barricade. I want to get that build up. Okay. Card draw. Oh, another volley phase. I don't have any heroes to put out. Don't have to worry about housekeeping. And then now we... Well, that's right. I did turn him in, didn't I? Yep. Let's get those out. Okay. Hmm. Looks like a fire. Now in this case, I need to figure out... None ablaze which fire it is, so I roll a die. Six. The storehouse is ablaze. And what's nice about the blaze is it actually stops them from going. And then also when we get to the night turn, I don't have to do a minus one, which is really nice because I have something ablaze. I can see what's going on, basically. Okay. I'm pretty sure that one, because there's two of those, isn't there? Yep. Mm. Let's take a look here just to make sure. That's rifles overheating. After implementing, if it is, oh, it is day, so it does go back in here. I can volley. Everything I have has a two. Anything in a three? No. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and we're going to play this volley right here. On this guy right here, I get two dice. Oh, wait a second. Nope, I'm not going to do that. I need to get rid of the food and water. I'm going to take Lieutenant. He's going to distribute food and water. I'm going to do a card draw. Commit the reserve. You cannot value with low ammo, but is in its box, or the reserve platoon has not been formed. Reserve platoon has not been formed yet. I could put this leader back available. 
And housekeeping, nope. Zulu's defeated, nope. And we keep going. All right, keep going. Here we go. Next one. Uh, the chest goes to... Okay, which is not good. One, two. Luckily, it's not the Zulu victory. Now, what can I do? Oh, I'm going to... First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, and we're going to fire. See what happens, and then we might pull this one. Okay, here we go. Ah, five. Okay, so it does push it back, which is good. Just trying to figure out what I want to do, if I want to try. Or if I want to just let it go. I think I'm just going to let it go. I'm not going to pull this one back in my hand yet. Because I just don't feel like I need it right now. Okay. Uh, card draw. Oh, night. I made it to night. Now, so this is night. I do have a building on fire. So if I pull the building one, I get rid of that one. Night rolls. Okay. I want to say halfway through the deck, but I don't know because it's kind of like you draw one. Okay. Hero. We can't put any more heroes out. And yep. Well done. Zulu's defeated. No. Okay. Back to the. Oh, that's one of the card. That's one we're getting. Oh, it's an R. I'll have to go through those steps real quick. Uh. You know, I need to print out, they have them set up, so you can print out something that has this all on there. Okay, each of the unit on the map, three, four, and five, nobody is. Um, uh, I booth the units that have routed, return to play, stand them up in their five box. Nope, no problem there. Each marker, I booth a marker in a two or lower box is retreated back to the next consecutive. Basically, they're kind of moving back to take take a step back there. Perfect. Oh, then I know I can't do any. Um, yeah, okay. And I can't fire at them, which is fine. So my action is going to be build this barricade, this two-thirds of a barricade. That's that action. Uh, card draw. Fixed bayonets. Ooh, close. So it's well, that's a that's a nice folly for when they they get too close like that. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was a card draw. Oops. I saw that, but it really doesn't matter. Housekeeping. Nope. So I'm back to these guys here. Two for the chest. Okay. So that's going to be one, two for the chest. Ugh. Oh, that's, that's, here we go. That's where this close is going to come in. In fact, we're going to play it right now. Close four dice. Let's see what we get. I got a six, a four, and a one. So the six will take away one of those. I don't like that because it didn't push anybody back. Okay, I'm going to, oh, I can't do that. I can return him to provide one more action. So we're going to do that, and the one action, the lieutenant's going to fire using this, so that's that action. Uh, three dice, let's see if we can get him pushed back. No, we can't, that was a waste. Oh man, that's not good. That was a waste, because he gets one more. 
Oh, I can still use this one. I may have to. <laughs> I may have to. Okay, card draw. Uh, take one hero card of your choice of the discard pile and make it immediately available. Oh, nice. Then roll a die. Discard on a five or six. Insert this card face down into the appropriate approximate center of the draw pile. Oh, okay. So draw pile. Matter of fact, we're going to put him in play because that, that'll be a free action I can do during the action phase. Okay. Now, let's see if we have to take this one. Okay, here we go. Oh, phew. Don't have to. So it's going to be uh, the horn. This horn goes one here. Okay. That horn goes one there. Now I can fire if I really want to. Yeah. We're going to fire this guy right here. Uh, two dice. Come on, I need a five. I want a five. A one and a four. Dang it. Okay. Well, we're going to do this. And I get to, so I get to, from the discard pile, I think I only got one leader. Nope. This one right here. <laughs> yeah. So he's immediately available, which is cool. So Hook goes back to the hospital. I don't know if that works. Now I need to roll a die on a five and six. Ah, three. So he gets discarded. Um, okay. Okay, let's, okay, card draw, another independent fire at will. I'm going to be able to put this guy back in. And then we're going to pull one. Oh, everything won. Okay. So I think I'm going to have to use this. Okay, conduct one volley action using another card during the I am, which is right now. I pulled this one. So I'm going to do that. I'm going <sighs> to. Close range, four dice. He's going to get discarded. Four dice. Because if not, I lose. Two sixes. Dang it. I don't have anything. Yeah. So he moves in here. I get that's it. Game over. Dang it. Let's see how far. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So eleven. I had eleven cards left until I won. I just this guy just got in here, and I just couldn't get him out. So sometimes the hits, I almost would wish the hits actually <laughs> retreated, but they don't. They don't. Um, but that's pretty crazy. Well, I hope you like this. I've played it so. I've played this game so many times because of how short it is to play, and how quickly it plays. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, number one game from. Uh, for my 2021 and do those on the ramparts. Hope you like it. Talk to you later.